Next, I want to explain what a fork is. Uh, a fork is a GitHub feature. It is not a Git feature. And so what a fork is, it allows you to make a copy uh, of a repository. And so here's a demonstration repository on github.com. It's simply called Spoon Knife. Uh, and, and what I can do is I can make a copy of this repository under my account. And so I'll go ahead and use this uh, to create a new fork. Uh, this is mainly used on open source software where you might not have permissions to make changes to this repository. Um, but what you can do is you can make a copy and then you can make changes on your copy. And so I'll go ahead and create a fork. And once this uh, finishes doing the copy, again, this is going from a GitHub repo and it's making a copy under my account. And so now that I have this, I can go ahead and do a clone. And so I will open up a, a git bash terminal. And I will run git clone and paste in that URL. Oh, excuse me, let me, I've already done this once, so let me uh, pretend like I have it. Okay, back to the git clone. Uh, so let's do open up a git bash here. Git clone paste. All right, so here is my local folder of my copy of this repo. And if I open this up in VS Code, I will go ahead and just change some CSS. Maybe I think this should display inline block. And this will allow me to stage changes, improved CSS. Let's commit and push. Again, this is pushing to my GitHub repository, right? My copy of that repo. And so if I were to go back here, of course, now that I've committed and pushed, I should see that I have uh, added a commit. I've improved the CSS. And you could see that this branch is now one commit ahead of um, what's referred to as the upstream repository. So the upstream repository is the original repository that I, that I uh, made a copy of. And what you do at this point is you open a pull request. Um, this is gonna open up a request to the author, the original author, um, to merge my changes into their main branch. And so I believe that this is an improvement. If the main author agrees, um, then they will be able to merge my changes. You know, maybe I'm making improvements to the CSS, maybe I'm adding a new feature, you know, whatever it may be, um, they will be able to merge those changes into their software. So I create my pull request and click the button one last time to create a pull request. says this branch has no conflict. So now it's up to the original authors on whether they, they accept those changes. Um, but that is a fork, uh, basically making a copy of a repo, and that is how you create a pull request.